Hi, Ryan. Ryan here with Accelerate Marketing. One of the biggest opportunities as a business owner is is Google Places, and I've talked about this in the past. But if you can't send somebody to your Google Places page, then it's kind of hard to get those reviews that you're looking for and to get interaction with your Google Places page so that you can get found on the internet. Well, and, and not only that, but it's also imperative that if you, especially if you're using text message marketing, that you can create a short URL so that you can send it out because you only have 140 characters to send out for that text message marketing message that you send out and also for social media for Twitter if you send out a Twitter tweet then you know you only have so many characters so it's imperative that that the number of characters that you use for that link is as short as possible and you also want to make sure that when you are using the link or creating a link that that the link juice is flows the link juice flows through the shortened URL that you're that you're creating I actually got this information from that I'm going to show you from my my business partner David Sprague he shared it with me last night I think it's imperative that that other people learn this information and business owners and implement it because it can really help you to get an increased ranking with your Google Places page and also it will get you more social proof because if you have the ability to send people to your Google Places page then you can ask for them to review and rate your Google, your your business and if you get five or more ratings on your for your business then you get those five little stars out to the right of your of your listing so let me just show you here the the fastest way to to create these these a link or to figure out what your link is for your Google Places page and then once we got that to actually shorten it. So if you go to maps.google.com you can see here I'm um, I'm on maps.google.com. If I go in let's see let's see my places let me just pause here for one second. I wasn't used to the way that the this new uh, lion shows up the anyway I'm gonna go here to there we go. Okay. So I know my client, Native Yoga Center. You can look up, when you're at maps.google.com, and you, you go into the search bar up here, you type in the business name, or you can type in their phone number, and then up will pop their, their Google Places listing. And you can see here, here's Native Yoga Center. So if I right click and I go to copy link address, okay, and then if I go back up here to my bar, you can see I've actually I'm not logged in to Google, but if I paste in that entire URL that I just copied, okay, and what I want to do now is I want to go to the and sign. You can see I've got the entire URL, this long URL here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delete everything except for that right there, right below before the and sign, and that is your permanent link for your Google Places page. Again, what you need to do. Just go to maps.google.com. You need to go to the top here, type in either the business name or the phone number, find the business, right click, copy link address, open a new um, a new browser or just you know op open up a new um, uh, you know a new a new new browser uh, sheet, whatever you want to call this. <laughs> I can't I'm not I can't think of what it is, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Anyway, you you paste in that entire URL that you have and um, delete and then basically there you go you've got your URL your universal resource resource locator you've got your permalink right there that is the permalink for your your Google Places page and you, you know this because here I'll test it so if I go copy if I copy that and then I open up another there we go you can see I there and, and all I had was just that the numbers and that maps.google.com forward slash maps place. So this is the ID. This number right here is the ID number or link. This is this is the permalink for your Google Places page. It's imperative that you know that. Now what we can do is we can shorten it. So we go to we can go to the Google's URL shortener and we can copy in that that permalink for your your Google Places page and we can go shorten it and then there is the magic right there that's your that's the URL that if you share it on on Facebook you share it on Twitter you share it wherever you can 
and you ask people to go and review, you know, you send you send it out via text and you ask people to click on that link and go to your Google Places page and review your Google Places page, you're going to get it, it's just going to you'll you'll have more opportunity to do that. You can share this link now and get what we call backlink credit. You'll get or link juice. So in other words, when when Google spiders the internet and it finds that link there, it will give credit to your Google Places page as being as as having backlinks. So it's imperative that that you utilize this link with your communication when you're engaging with your marketplace. So I hope that makes sense. It's it was kind of a, a lengthy video, but I think it's important to see and to now use this with anything that you do. So now you can go in and you can go to Twitter and you can use this very short URL and you get when Google spiders the internet and it finds that, it'll give it'll actually potentially help increase the rankings for your Google Places page so that you'll rank higher. And you also want to use this in anywhere you can. I mean and, and again use this with your text message marketing send it out, have people click on it, and then rate and review your Google Places page. Ask them to rate and review your Google Places page so that you can uh, get higher rankings in Google. So hope that helps. Thanks for listening, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.